Hey guys, what's up? Pasay Baller here. This is now the 8th game for this December 9, 2022 NBA Game Day. Um, this is going to be a battle. Well, perhaps one of the, the one of the best games that we have for today. This is the, the battle between Phoenix Suns uh, and the New Orleans Pelicans, the home team. The game will actually start at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time, so that's going to be 9.30 a.m. here in Manila. And I am just inviting everyone who have not subscribed yet to our YouTube account or YouTube channel, Pasay Baller. Please click on the subscribe button below. At the same time, hit on that bell logo. That way, automatically, you guys will be receiving notifications whenever new videos are uploaded. And by the way, the spread that is given on this is minus 2. And that's actually given towards the visiting team, Phoenix Suns. Alright, so uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the um, rankings and standings of both teams. Obviously, both teams belong to the Western Conference. Uh, starting with New Orleans Pelicans, they are at 16 wins and 8 losses. And man, they are, now, they are now the number one team in the West. Now right behind them at number 2 is uh, Phoenix Suns with a record of 16 wins and 9 losses. So uh, New Orleans Pelicans is uh, practically ahead by half a game um, as compared to Phoenix. New Orleans Pelicans, they would have the home court advantage, just like what I said earlier. In terms of fatigue, we can skip that part because both teams had their rest last night. In terms of momentum, man, New Orleans Pelicans got it. Uh, they are approaching this game having a five-game winning streak, while Phoenix Suns, they are uh, having back-to-back -back losses, and not to mention that their last game was a blowout. Um, that was against Boston Celtics. I expected that Boston Celtics would actually beat them, but not that much. Man, that was crazy. That was a crazy loss. I'm pretty sure that you know they would want to forget that and they would want to focus on this upcoming game. Let's take a look at the availability of the players and the health of both teams. For Phoenix Suns, there are three players out for the game. Jay Crowder, Cam Johnson, and Dwayne Washington Jr. Now for New Orleans Pelicans, I see... Two players confirmed out, Brandon Ingram and Herbert Jones, while we have Jose Alvarado and EJ Liddell. I'm sorry, uh, Liddell is also confirmed out. So three players are confirmed out for the Pelicans, and then there's just one who is listed as questionable. This is Jose Alvarado, uh, because uh, I, guess, I guess this was due to the due to that pick that he was fighting, you know, that he was fighting on, and he got hurt towards his, I guess, uh, some liver condition or something like that. Okay, all right, number one versus number two of the Western Conference. Um, what's going to happen? Again, New Orleans Pelicans, they are on a roll. Um, the Phoenix Suns, they are having back-to-back -back losses. Um, for the past 10 game, for the last 10 games of New Orleans Pelicans, they have won eight. That's how hot they are. Now, I know Phoenix Suns, a lot of people would say, hey, you know what, they're messing up. And yeah, for the past couple of games, again, again they've lost. But if you take a look at it, for their last 10 games... They have won seven, so it's not that bad, really. You know, um, the number one team ha have won eight out of their has won eight out of their last ten. Phoenix Suns has won seven out of their last ten. Not that bad at all, considering that their last game was against Boston Celtics, the best team in the league right now. Chris Paul just came back, but his impact wasn't felt on that game against Boston. I f I feel like um, adjustments would would be seen on this game, and I feel like Chris Paul would be felt on this game. Um, Ingram is still not available for New Orleans Pelicans. I'm going to side with uh, Phoenix Suns on this. I think they would be highly offensive on this one. And as we can see, um, due to, you know, on that last game of New Orleans Pelicans, they, you know, they even nearly lost that game against, you know, against Detroit Pistons, one of the young, struggling teams in the Eastern Conference. So I'm going to pick fit. Phoenix Suns on this. I'm expecting a huge bounce back game from this uh, from them, especially after you know ha after having that massacre blowout blowout loss against Boston Celtics. I'm pretty sure that you know they're itching to come back in the court and to actually perform well. Uh, I'm actually uh, expecting no Phoenix Suns to beat New Orleans Pelicans and to cover the spread without any problem at all. Phoenix minus two again. That's Suns minus two. Peace out. Pass I love and God bless.